Hi, good morning, and uh, here's our coverage of Turnbull Stakes Day, Flemington, by www.horseracingaustralia.info. That's Turnbull Stakes Day 2017, where we'll see the remarkable Winks race once again. Okay, but what I'm going to show you today is uh, Systems Made Easy. Okie doke, for this we're going to the GTX um, software, as usual. And you can see here I've got loaded all the Metropolitan meetings for this Saturday, including Flemington and Ramwick. And what I'm doing now, I'm going to go to our uh, system uh, server here. And we've got a number of systems here lined up. You can see the various names of them, barrier plans and all the like. So they're all in there. So we can um, now what we've done, we've assigned a group. And with this group, we're just got, we're going to call it Windfall. Okay, you know. And uh, when we look at our group, we can see that I've ticked a number of plans here. All the ticks you can see down the side there. Okie doke. So what happens, uh, this is actually going to pull up every single one of our plans uh, just in the one motion, if you like. So all I've got to do, I've selected loaded races, which is Saturday. And if I click run here, all the selections for Saturday will come up. And there's something I want to show you on this, which makes it very interesting. Okie doke, as you can see here, there are quite a number of selections that come up, but the interesting thing is, we're looking at the ones that have been selected more than once. In other words, um, uh, one plan is verified by another plan and so on. So for example here, we've got Flemington Race 3, we've got number one Cliff's Edge, it's selected twice. If we look down here, we've got Winks, selected twice. Morfordville, Corona, selected twice. If we look at this one, Viridine, now that's a Ramwick race 6, number 3. Viridine is selected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five different plans have all selected that uh, that one horse. Um, Bo Guest is selected by two of the horses, uh, two of the plans. We have got Ace High here selected twice. Imposing Lass. Pinzu. Moss and Dale. It's been selected three times. Spy Dakota. Interestingly enough, Spy Dakota is a bolter. Okie doke. And uh, Ramwick here, the last one of the day. Piracy. And finally, Rock on Tommy at Thelmont. Now, I don't expect you to remember that. All I'm showing you here is how easy it is to use the um, system selector on the GTX program. Now, uh, we use the GTX program even though it's not our, not our own program. It does contain our WinForm ratings and they can be viewed in the program like we've got here. And also there are quite a number of other aspects you can choose here. So for example, if you wanted to uh, choose by the horses that had the best um, average prize money, then you press that button and straight away they're sorted into average prize money. And you can see here that piracy is actually one, two, three, four on the list. Okay, but of course if you go to Flemington and you go to race five, Winx is number one on the list, uh, just in order of the prize money they've made. Thank you, Dave. If you wanted to uh, look and see by the win percent, you can press that button there. And also, win series uh, best by win percent. If you go to Randwick in the last, we look for piracy is only third by win percent. If you looked at place percent, we might see a different perspective, although it comes up third on that as well. And uh, it's, it's just an interesting way to look at things. Okie doke, that's all I'm going to show you today, except let's go back to Plimpton and we've got race 5, we have Winks on top. And uh, if we're looking at our Winform ratings, you'll find that I've got odds here of $2.90. Now, that's simply based on a few little facts, like how fast uh, she's been able to run in most of her races. However, it doesn't take into account the half of Winks. Now, interesting thing is here, they're going to take the earmuffs off for the first time this preparation. So um, she should know what she's doing in the barriers these days. And notice our second rated horse here is actually Sir Isaac Newton. So if you're betting the Winx out market, Sir Isaac Newton, at his third run from the spell, might be good enough to run second. In that case, it will be a winner in the Winx out market. I do wish you good luck for Saturday. Thanks for watching.